validator block reduction speed over the last week has slowed rather significantly, or at least enough for people to start noticing it. This has been bought up in several Discord threads and Reddit posts, and Amir Halim himself has addressed it specifically. The decline can be seen as the fall off towards the right end of this chart. This daily HNT decline, combined with more and more hotspots sharing the same rewards each day, has really taken a toll on the average HNT rewards per hotspot as well. In today's video, we will take a look at what is causing this, when we can expect it to be fixed, and how the air quotes missing HNT will be redistributed. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to another video here in the Crypto Compound channel. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope you are having a great day. In today's video, we are going to be discussing the recent decline in HNT that is being created and distributed each day. That decline can be seen in this chart as the fall off towards the right side of the screen. Ideally, this roughly the same amount of HNT should be created each day in between the halving cycles, which last two years each. So this decline here is rather significant. You can see that this chart is showing each bar is one day, as you can see for a long time, all the HNT being created each day was very, very similar. Of course, there was the blackout here where almost no HNT was created and then back online and things were back as usual in between the 80 to 85K on average range of HNT per day. And recently, since about the since around December 9th or 10th, we have seen a steady decline in this amount. Now, this is the same chart up here as you can see the drop off right here on total HNT rewards per day. However, if we do go down here to the average rewards per hotspot per day, we can see that of course there are more hotspots going online each day while the rewards per hotspot is steadily declining because they are all sharing them. However, now with more hotspots joining the network and the average HNT being created each day is declining. We're seeing an even faster decline in average HNT rewards by hotspot per day because now our hotspots are fighting two different battles, the increase in number of hotspots sharing the rewards and a decline in rewards being created per day. So this ended up being addressed here in the Discord thread by Amir Halim specifically last night in his announcement. As we can see here, he specifically says that the network currently aims to create 83,333 HNT per day, a total of 2.5 million HNT per month. The way this system works is for validators who create the blocks to target block times of 60 seconds, which if hit consistently ends up creating the target of 83,333 HNT per day. Validators can also speed up block production if they are off target such that the average over 50,000 blocks and ends up being 60 seconds. So what he's saying here is there is fluctuation in between block times in order for validators to try and make the average block speed 60 seconds so they can go above it, they can go below it. And the key is to track that so they know when they are on and off target so they know when to increase or decrease block time speeds. And as you can see, he goes on to say current Currently, validators are struggling to meet the 60 second target as they process more transaction per block as the network grows and some of the regional parameter changes made in the POC v11 release. So it seems like the release and the new network requirements are causing a little bit of a strain on the block production time. He goes on to say this is resulting in slower blocks and less than the target of 83,333 HNT being created per calendar day, as can be seen in the chart below. That is the chart we were just looking at. As an example, only 64.3 thousand HNT was created yesterday, which is 23% below the 83.3K target. As a result, miners can expect their mining rewards to be lower relative to calendar time. He goes on to mention that they are working on the fix. They're working to release an update for the validators to help in their progress and their block time speeds. And he says, once validators are able to increase increase block production speed, we should eventually see faster blocks and more HNT created per day to compensate for the current shortfall. 
So what he's saying is they're going to try and create over 83,333 HNT per day to compensate for these several days of fewer rewards being created each day. So we should be able to expect closer to 90k HNT be created per day once these updates are made in order to compensate for this and in turn rewards then should increase generally on the network. Actually, he does go on to mention in even more detail as someone asks him questions regarding what his announcement was saying. Somebody says, one, what is the timeline to improve daily HNT production and get validators working back at full strength? And two, is there a plan to redistribute the daily shortfall over the last couple weeks of HNT produced. Amir does respond directly to this and he says, as mentioned in the announcement, validators will speed up block production if they can, such that the average is 60s over a 50K block window. That means once sufficient optimizations are deployed, we should see 50 second blocks or faster to make up for the lag, which means more HNT per day until caught up. Basically, he is just saying they are going to create these blocks faster, create more HNT per day, and that HNT the extra HNT that is created per day is, is then of course going to be distributed on the network. So basically right now we're underperforming the 60 second block time. The target now is to create blocks faster than 60 seconds and then in turn increase the HNT created per day and then have it redistributed. Now I also wanted to share this post here from Reddit that Amir Halim also posted around roughly the same time as the announcement. Maybe this triggered the announcement uh, because he was getting a lot of pushback on what is going on with the network. But I wanted to flag this. He's basically saying the same thing as in the announcement. But I wanted to flag this because it really highlights not only Amir, but all of the Helium developers and the whole team. It really highlights their involvement and their accountability for things that are happening on the network. And they do work tirelessly to address these issues. It is very clear with the number of announcements that are made. If you keep up inside of the GitHub with the amount of improvements and, and flags that are raised each day and the updates that are released to address these issues, the network is growing at incredible speeds and they are working tirelessly to try and keep up with the network and make sure it is working as efficiently as possible as it was designed. So I just wanted to put this here because they are responding directly to people. Amir himself is responding directly to people with questions and he is outlining them as articulately as possible. And I think that should be really, really appreciated here in the Helium community. But guys, that is all I have for today's video. Let me know if you've seen anything else strange going on on the network. Of course, there's a lot of fluctuation that is normal, but if you see anything persisting over time, let me know. Put it in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Please hit that like and subscribe if you have not already. But that is all I have for today's video. And just like that, this video is over. I will see you next time.